Hello students, I hope you all are fine. I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. So today we will discuss an another name reaction that is formulation reaction of aromatic nucleus that is Wilsmann Hack reaction. So this reaction actually aromatic electrolyte substitution to prepare aldehyde. So today's discussion or today's uh, lecture will cover few points like the basic idea, <coughs> mechanism of this reaction. Role of electron withdrawing group, electron donating group, nature of electrophile, and at the end some examples. Okay, so a lot of chemistry to be learned. Before going to details, I request you if you want such type of videos on a regular basis, I please help my channel to grow. So let's start. <coughs> See, this is N N dimethyl aniline. Why this substrate is chosen? See, this is actually an electron rich substrate. Rich substrate. How it is electron rich? If you see its canonical forms, this is the methyl, this is the methyl. This nitrogen can bonded to its electron pair, so one canonical form is ortho. This is, and we know that nitrogen is capable to hold the positive charge efficiently. Because it's moderate <coughs> uh, electron activity. In next step, what can happen? It can go and it can. So, what is the next canonical form? So, this is this. Negative charge is here. Positive. This. <coughs> so, what do we mean that? It can undergo substitution or the para position, but it prefers to go para position because the real bulk effect. This thing is less. And second thing. See, in para position only plus R effect occurs. For in ortho position, plus R effect as well as minus I occurs because nitrogen is relatively more electronegative compared to carbon. So it prefers to go to para position. Fine. So what happens? This hydrogen is replaced by this CH. That's why this is named as aromatic electrophilic substitution. And here actually is an electron rich. And that reaction electrophile is generated. That's why this is called A. So what electrophile is generated? See, this is actually a this is actually formamide. Better to say dimethyl formamide. You need di substituted formamide. There is no bound that methyl needed. So actually, this part is transferred here. Okay. So you can in this way you can keep it in mind. So this will be transferred. So how this electrophile is generated? So this react with. POCl3. POCl3 looks like this. You can say phosphorus means phosphoric acid, acid chloride. Okay. So what can happen? This DMF should have a canonical form. It have a canonical form. This looks like this. This lone pair goes. It comes. So that's why. So it O minus nitrogen having plus this. Secondly, that. That's why nucleophilic attack happens on through this oxygen, not this. Secondly, this is a great bit bulky, but this is free. So this, consequently, this goes and attack to this phosphorus regenerates come back, produces the final electron means the intermediate which is responsible for electrophile preparation. So what is that? This is N N. This is the plus charge. This is the let's. This is O minus. Draw here. Sorry. This is attached to the phosphorus. Now Cl, Cl. Okay, fine. So in next step, what happens? See, after reaction, one chloride left, so that chloride is here. So what can do? See this this structure, this side. If you look at this side carefully. This is like a protonated imine, carbonyl derivative. So you may consider so it will attack first. It will open, then it will come back. It will leave. Why? So I'll explain. This is N. This double bond. H actually this O is substituted by Cl. Along with that, what it produces? This is phosphorus Cl Cl double bond O. O minus, and this is resonance stabilized. So this is resonance stabilized. Now, question: What is the driving force for that? See, there was previously carbon-oxygen bond, 
right now there is this chlorine bond but here see phosphorus oxygen bond this phosphorus oxygen bond is very very stable because of multiple bond type you can see that it can come here it is this is resonance stabilized and see this double bond is not with chlorine double bond is nitrogen 2p2p so is no problem from that point of view so this so actually this is our electrophile i always suggest you in case of this wilsmeyer hack reaction gatterman koch reaction gatterman aldehyde synthesis mm, uh, <coughs> so in this case i suggest you please remember make a note which one is the electrophile because there is a chance that you may make any mistake and very easy question could be what is the structure of the electrophile in your exams or they can ask you the mechanism so if you know the electrophile if you forget other thing also you can write and if you forget other thing in the exam they will provide you the marks okay so this is the electrophile now let's react this and this so what happen in this case it will push it will from para position here attack will happen so this so what will be the intermediate this so right now it will be nitrogen will be in plus so this 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 is hydrogen and this is <coughs> cl this bond will open so this is nitrogen having this this is the bond pair okay so this now see what can happen this can push and this cl can leave right now so means you may think that aromaticity it will be gain fine there is no problem i am showing but it, it is not that okay so whatever aromaticity will be first of all let's consider that aromaticity will be achieved because it creates lots of stabilization so fine this aromaticity will be achieved and this nitrogen will become neutral in next step in next step this so it will push on this cell will leave so it's that this is n positive charge here so now what does it mean so along with that chloride ion so what it is mean you can see this is a imine derivatives okay proton and amine secondary amine plus aldehyde reacts on this so this part will hydrolyze means nitrogen will take two hydrogen and this part will be oxygen so hydrolysis that for that reason aqueous is still now why sorry aqueous to be understood why because see this pure cl3 is in the medium so it is all the things are acidic so in order to quench you need a basic thing so that's why this is alkaline workup alkaline workup there is an another reason so sodium acetate if you react with acid it produces acetic acid so sodium acetate acetic acid creates a buffer and that buffer speech is slightly alkaline so but if you have any acid see the, there is a nitrogen so it can be protonated so it will not get so in order to get this amine back in a pure form slightly basic medium is always good so that's why this medium and ultimately in this way it will result so everything will be as it is okay this so in this way the aldehyde is produced using the mechanism so now let's discuss few example in order to clarify the concept properly okay let's continue the discussion so four examples are given so now we will discuss about this wilsner hack reaction for this every case reagent is same see this is dmf dimethyl nm dimethyl formamide ucl3 second sodium acetate so in case of this question comes by this reaction will happen here here or here see this and these two positions are equivalent okay question is here or here this is meta with respect to both things so will not happen we know para position or ortho see para is so open so this here or here both are same so this para position this formalization reaction will occur this is oh this is oh so this is ch this first example Second, see, this is naphthalene derivative with attached to this ethyl. Okay, so <clears throat> we know that this position to this canonical form electron density increases at this position. 
So that's why this reaction will happen in this position and it will result this. Fine. In case of anthracene, the reaction will happen here. I'll explain why. First look at the product. This. Why? Not other position because this is actually aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction will happen. Here, in this case, this part is more electron rich. That's why reaction happens in this way. Fine. In this case, the if the aromatic electrophilic substitution happens, the corresponding loss of resonance energy. Loss of resonance energy is minimum at this position. Okay, this is an ion position. So that is the reason why the action will happen there. Okay, and in case of thiophene, we always know aromatic electrophilic ha uh, substitution happens on two position. I have explained this video. So please visit in the aromatic substitution of five member radio cycle in order to clarify the concept. Okay, so and uh, this aromatic this ring also electronic because. 6 pi electron 5 and we know this thiophene is similarly stable like benzene according to based on per atom resonance energy and since it's a pi excess nucleus that's why reaction happens easily at this position okay so this is the overall discussion for wilsmar hack reaction so what we have learned today we have learned today first of all about the basic idea and reaction mechanism for this wilsmar reaction how the electrophile is generated and most importantly why this reaction happens on electron rich because their electron rich electrophile is not that much electron efficient means it's a milder electrophile that's why this reaction happens on uh, only electron rich nucleus and these are the example of few electron rich nucleus where this reaction happens and produces this particular product okay so this is the overall discussion thank you everyone for watching this video if you really like my teaching please help my channel to grow because your contribution will inspire me to upload videos on a regular basis so for that reason, first of all, subscribe my channel, Chemistry and History of Molecule, and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. Secondly, share this video among your friends so that many people will be benefited. And most importantly, please like the video and make some good comments on this video because it inspires me a lot. And if you think some modification is essential, please mention in the comment box. So thank you again. Stay happy, stay blessed. See you in my next video.